Hi everyone, my name is Monica from my big camera. Today I'll be showing you how to create your own Photoshop actions and then how to batch apply them to a series of images to dramatically speed up your workflow. If you don't know what an action is, it's basically like a preset. It's a set of tasks that you perform in Photoshop that you then record into one nice little easy package that you can instantly apply to any of your images. If you're new to our channel, we teach photographers of all levels how to improve their portrait photography. We are a husband and wife team with over a decade of experience photographing newborns, babies, and families. We release a new video every Friday, so please subscribe to our channel for more awesome content just like this. Now let's get into the video. Okay, so here we are in Photoshop, and I have Photoshop 2019 CC. If you have a different version of Photoshop, your layout might look a little bit different from mine. Um, creating, we will be creating an action uh, that I will be applying to this image here. Creating actions is a really great way to speed up your workflow um, if you perform a number of tasks repeatedly. As you can see, my action window is right here. To access this window, all you need to do is you head up to the window menu scroll down to actions, click on that. I'll bring it back up here and you'll see the action menu here. By default Photoshop provides you these actions that you can apply if you'd like. Now to create your own action you just click up here in the corner, scroll down to new set and name your set. I will name mine my awesome actions. Click OK. You'll see your new set here. Now to add an action to the set, you just head back up to the corner over here and click New Action. Name your action. Since I'll be creating a black and white action, I'm going to name it BW. You can apply a function key if you'd like. So I'm going to select F2 and Shift and you can select a color if you'd like but it's really not necessary. Click record. You'll notice the little red circle icon right here to indicate that the action is recording. So any steps you perform after this will be part of your action. So first we're going to go up here to the layers menu and click on duplicate layer to create a second layer. I'm going to name it BW and click OK. You'll see the new layer that we just created on top of your background layer. So now we're going to create a basic black and white image by heading up to Image, Adjustments, scroll down to Desaturate. You'll notice the black and white image here and you can still see the background layer down here. So I'm going to add a little bit more contrast. So go back up to the image menu, adjustments and curves. I'm going to create a simple S curve by clicking three points on this line. And then I'm going to scroll down a little bit here to darken the shadows until I like where it looks. And then this point up here to just brighten up the highlights a little bit, add a little bit more contrast, and then click OK. So that's the basics of our black and white action. Now I want to create a second layer to this action, um, a brown tinted layer. So I have a couple of options. So I'm going to head up to the layers menu click on duplicate layer again and name it BW brown tint. You could really name it whatever you'd like. I just am naming it that so that it's easy for me to know what it is. Click OK. Now you'll see the three layers here, the black and white and the new layer that we just created. So now we're going to head up to the image menu, adjustments and photo filter click on that. We're going to select color, 
click on the color square and we're going to select a nice warm dark brown tone to just give a bit of a hint of brown to the image select uh, or move the density slider until you're happy with it and make sure this preserve the luminosity box is checked and click OK. You'll see the three layers here again. So now we're going to stop the action. You can see all of the tasks associated with the action here. You could toggle these on or off depending on what you'd like and you could reduce the opacity by using the slider here and same with the black and white so you can get a desaturated look if you'd like and that's basically it so now I'm going to show you how this works by deleting these two layers so we have the original image back and I'm going to click on the action and click play and you can see that the action has been applied to the image uh, the two layers that we created before were instantly applied to the image just like we wanted So now what I want to show you is how to actually automate this process. So we're going to click on File, Automate, and Batch. So you can see that it's going to be applied to all open files. So we're going to just cancel out of this window. I'm going to open up a bunch of images to apply this action to. So select three more images and click OK. So you can see the image is open here. I'm going to delete these two layers so that we could apply the action to all of the images at once. So now we'll head back up to the file menu, click on automate, batch, make sure that it says all open files and that the action and set is correct, and then click OK. You'll see that it's working in the background and that it's been applied to all of the images. Every image that's open now has those two layers, the brown and the brown tint, and you could toggle them on or off. Now you can flatten the images and save them or do additional adjustments if you'd like. But this is a really awesome way to really speed up your workflow. Basically what I like to do is after I've edited all of my color images for a session, I just apply this black and white action to all of the images and it just makes things so much quicker and I don't need to worry about creating a black and white image for every single um, image that I create. I hope you guys found this tutorial helpful. If you liked it, please give the video a like and please subscribe for more awesome content like this. Remember to click on the bell icon to turn on notifications so you'll be notified when we upload a new video. Until next time, keep creating!